Tracy, after a weekend visit to Philadelphia, Vice President Kamala Harris made a trip to Atlantic City. Today, she delivered the keynote address at this week's NAACP convention. NBC 10's Lauren Make was there to hear the vice president's message. She joins us live now from Atlantic City with more on that. Lauren. Yeah, Jacqueline, a speech from the vice president in an election year is a big deal no matter what. But the moment was significant today as NAACP welcomed the first black woman to become the country's vice president. And we saw the excitement that that caused even before she got in the room. Pushing to get in and then saving seats. I was putting my bag, my mask, my phone, my legs. I was everywhere. In Atlantic City, a rush and some strategy to get a spot up front to see the vice president in person. Jada Richard is here from Oakland, California. As a black woman, for starters, it's amazing to see her come from somewhere. Not only is she the first black woman in office, she's also Kamala Harris, and she's straight where I'm from. So it just shows us, like, we could get anywhere if we really try. Vice President Kamala Harris today speaking to the NAACP National Convention, something she noted she's done before, but not like this. And I am honored today to address you for the first time as Vice President of the United States. Harris, the first black woman to be elected Vice President, highlighting accomplishments of the Biden-Harris administration, but issuing a warning as she urged people to get involved. We must recognize there are those who are fighting to drag us backward extremist the vice president addressing gun violence and the recent legislation signed into law and it was an important and necessary step but we need to do more vice president harris listing a repeal of liability protections for gun manufacturers and a reinstating of the assault weapons ban there is no reason for weapons of war on the streets of america her speech getting cheers but some were disappointed about what wasn't included, wanting to hear a plan for canceling student debt. What do you want the vice president and the president to know? We're not going to stop until it's canceled. We're going to let our voice be known every day, every moment, until it's canceled. And do you have student debt yourself? Yes, I do. I am a first generation, so I have a lot of student debt. Although people came from around the country, Vanessa Clark was close to home coming from Trenton to hear Vice President Harris in person. It meant that hope is alive, that we are some great people, that we can do things that everybody else says we can't do. Kamala Harris is it. And Vice President Harris spoke about the midterm elections today and why she says that people should specifically be tuned in this year. We'll have more on that coming up at 5 o'clock. And, Jacqueline, what she says about how New Jersey has been handling the issue of abortion. Again, that's coming up at 5 o'clock. Back to you. Her speech in the convention overall getting a lot of attention right here in our backyard. Lauren, thank you. And Philadelphia